Pound of rain potentially coming late Sunday into early Monday that could be heavy. We've got a renewed concern for flooding from poor drainage to basement, flash flooding perhaps, and even river flooding based on how this system plays out. More on that in just a moment. Right now, from Hartford, we're dry, 85 in our capital city, looking live from New Haven. Some scattered clouds overhead, 81 in the Elm City, and looking live from Mystic. At one point, some fog was rolling in, reducing the visibility, but conditions have improved there as well. We check out the foot and uh, vehicular traffic over the the, the bridge. So we've got early warning pinpoint Doppler scanning dry at one point, just a couple of showers clipped northwest Connecticut coming out of eastern New York on a weekending trend. Uh, we've got temps 80 to 85 inland, mid 70s to low 80s along the 95 corridor. But when you factor in those dew points that are still in the upper 60s and low 70s, feeling close to 90 in Hartford, also Windsor Locks, feeling like 86 right now, Willimantic and 88, uh, the heat index currently in Danbury. So uh, again, some showers and storms developing off to our west. They've been fizzling. This is all in association with a slow moving cold front it inches closer to Connecticut tomorrow. So because of that, we'll have a better chance at least for some isolated pop up variety showers and storms during the afternoon. Overnight tonight, we'll see an increasing cloudiness and fog develop temperatures bottom out in the upper 60s and low 70s, which has become a common theme as of late and why the air conditioning certainly will be a necessity. And tomorrow morning, uh, that morning fog and cloudiness burns off, giving way to some sunshine, but say around lunchtime and points thereafter, uh, looking for those spotty showers and storms to develop, especially across interior portions of the state. If you're heading to area beaches tomorrow, uh, we're looking pretty good highs uh, in the low and mid 80s. Uh, farther inland, mid to upper 80s, and that humidity is gonna be sticking with us uh, for quite some some time. So uh, future cast as we look into Sunday, that front that's off to our west basically stalls across the region. That will be the focal point for rounds of rain that could be heavy at times with embedded thunderstorms arriving later Sunday, Sunday night into early Monday. So uh, we've already been outlined a good part of western New England, the shade of yellow and the level two risk for excessive rain. Here's a look at some of the model comparisons. Uh, the GFS keeping the heaviest of the rain just to the northwest of Connecticut. Meanwhile, the European model bringing it as far southeast East as the 84 quarter. So uh, still a lot to get ironed out to, to fine tune as we head through this weekend. Uh, again, with that renewed concern for potential flooding based on where the heaviest of the rain falls Sunday night into early Monday. So an unsettled and relatively cooler start to the week. Highs on Monday in the low 80s. Thereafter, we dry out, trend brighter. And also warmer. We could see a couple more 90 degree days during the middle of next week. Shoreline highs into the mid 80s Wednesday and Thursday. Late Thursday into Friday, another chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms.